Hi guys, this is Yazan Suleiman. Today I'm going to talk about how to set up AdMove for Unity. I'm using Unity 5.4. It will work for the latest Unity version. Okay, I'm going to switch the platform to the Android platform and changing the company name and the bundle ID printer. Okay, I will add the link for download the package of mobile ad move. Okay, I'm sorry for hanging out sometimes. Okay, that's the package that I will use. It's Google Mobile Ads. I will add the link for downloading this package. After downloading the after importing the package, I'm going to create a game object to hold the scripts we want. So I'm going to create an empty game object and name it Google. I will add script and I will call it add move manager and I'm also want to add another script for the next video I will make it's how to using Google Play game services okay I'm just going to use the, the add move now in this video after adding the package you can using it so I'm going to using Google Mobile Ads API. It's the basic the basic API I have, and I'm going to use Unity Engine UI. Okay, I'm going to create an instance of this class. I'm going to use this instance in the next video when I'm going to set up the Google Play game services. This way to creating the instance of the class is a public way. Uh, it's been used a lot and I think its logic is really really simple and I don't have to explain it basically I'm just check if instant is equal null I set the instant to this class and don't destroy the or game object we have and if the instant don't equal to this I'm just going to destroy the game object okay I surround this code with region and just hide it this way you can make your code easy to read and easy to remember actual the next region will be about the add move constant the add move constant is about the ID you got from add move so private constant strange concept strange banner add ID and we have video add ID also it's known as in Pristual add ID I'm just going to name it video add ID and we need another constant it will be for the test ID if you want to test add move in a device so you need test device ID and I'm going to use this today so you can just know that you make it right just remember to remove this constant after you end your test when you want to publish this game you don't need this ID and also you need just to remove add test device now we are going to set a reference for our banner add view and in Pristial add view This reference will help us, actual this instance of the classes will help us to manage the banner ad and video ad. We create a new instance of this classes. I'm going to set the ad size to smart banner and the ad position to bottom. You can check the link below in the description, in description about this uh, functions and actual it's easy to use I'm going to use an GUI function uh, an GUI function actually I'm sorry for my bad English and uh, I will create about four functions one for show banner add and the second for show video add 
the next one will be for the add request. And the next one will be private void on video and loaded. This actual is an event and it's need and parameters. So the first one will be object sender and the second one will be system.event.args. Check the link in the description below. It's about how to use these events and how to manage them. Okay, I'm just going to show the video ad on the on video ad loaded and in show banner I'm going to get a request. I'm building the request function, it's so easy. I just get the builder connection from the add request and add in the parameters for it. I just add the keywords and add a test device and then in the banner add I'm just go low add get add request. This is simple logic and I I just see that it's not really actual hard and you can understand it. I'm just going to use a second event for the banner ad, so banner ad loaded. There are another events you can unleash, just like uh, on add closed, on add clicked, on add uh, failed to load. There are a lot. Basically, everything here is quite easy. In this, I create a new instance, and in the time that I record this video, I was really, let's say, a beginner at Unity, and I just forget to upload this video. And today, I'm just decide to talk about it and upload it. So I'm really sorry because I don't make another video, but I think this video is gonna work. I test it, and it's really, really amazing and easy to use you can use this instead of unity ad i think unity ads is really let's say not like it one use ad moves it will be much easier much easier and you can have that events so you can reward your own player on the ongui function i'm going to make two buttons the first one, I will set it to the half of screen, uh, the center of the screen. I'm sorry for my bad English again. And I'm going to name it banner add. And the second one, it will be for the video ad. Okay. Let's add 200, not. 200, 160. This will make the button to the right. Actually, let's add it to the height. So the two buttons will be above each other. If we come back now and play the scene, I think we will have a nice, nice, amazing look. Okay, I'm going to play it. Uh, where the next button? Like you see in the console, we have a good feedback that we have a dummy instant of the ad that's meaning we building it good and when we click on video ad we got dummy ad loaded okay I'm going just to clean the stuffs here so we don't want to load and create ads instance if we are in unity editor so we just say if we unity if we are in unity Android we are going to build this script and if we are in the editor we will just show a message told us that there is no ad there is no ad in unity editor same for the start function i will grab that from down below okay just copy and paste it's so simple logic okay that's good 
Yeah, I think everything is okay. Now we need to fill the uh, banner ID and the video ID. This is the first one, and this the second one. Okay, everything is okay now. We need the last thing is the test, the test device ID. If we just we have a small error here, let's come back and check for it. Where the error? Yeah, here I cut the rest of this, so I say also F. Okay, I'm going to build the project now. I will wait and see if there's an error or not. Okay, I got an error. This error is appear just because you are building for lower ABI. The mini SDK version of this package is 14. And like you see, I'm building for 9. I'm just going to upgrade to level, let's say, 16. And that's it. And I'm going to build the project. Okay, I think everything will be good and we will have it i'm going to install the package on that okay i i'm uh, i'm actually just forget the name of this it's scope layer this is an emulator for android i don't have an android phone right now to let you see that so i'm just going to test it on the emulator I'm just waiting the emulator to run. Like I say, you can check the links in the description for the package download and for the package, let's say, official tutorial. In the official tutorial, it just provide you with the code and the function that you need to use and how to use it. Actually, it's all about that. But I don't see any video this let's say explaining this ABI okay this the ABK after install it I'm going to task manager and I'm checking for the ADB server this server is going to help you to look at look at your own phone for the emulator this is the thing that happened when you click on the banner add it will just load the ad so what's happened in reality it's an ad request look at the line here it's telling you what the device id so you just need this device id to test it because if you are running a new emulator it's not really gonna work i tested before it's worked for me but i don't know why it's sometimes not work just remember that to remove the uh, ad test device from the ad request when you want to publish this as a game, already game. Okay, I'm going to build now. This will take a few moments. Don't forget to subscribe my own channel and like the video and share it if you find it useful. I'm sorry for my bad English again. I will connect to internet now. Like I say, this video is an old video I recorded the last month before I just upgrade my system. I'm going to delay the ad move. And I will just clean the stuffs here, closing the windows that I don't need. Okay. I'm gonna wait and wait and wait. Yeah, it's done. I will grab the test, install it, and run it now. Okay, when we click banner add now, waiting for some seconds, and that's it. It's showing the ad. Okay, if you click the video ad, you got an interesting ad, and that's it all. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and telling your friend about my video.